Okay, hey guys, welcome to today's video. So, as you already seen in yesterday's video, which will be on Wednesday, I'm going to go ahead and film this for tomorrow's video, which is Thursday. As you're seeing this now, hopefully. Um, so, I am really excited because I started a new series on the channel. I've seen this done on several other channels before, like Halloween channels and Pinky channels, and I'm like, you know what, I'm going to take that and put it into art, and I am going to be doing 31 days of drawing tutorials dedicated to Halloween, so I'm going to create a playlist on my channel for Halloween drawing tutorials for you guys. Um, now, we're going to be doing it both, this is going to be extra special because when I usually do drawing tutorials and everything, I do it on Procreate and Jet Procreate. Um, but since it is Halloween and I want to make it available to all you guys and be able for you guys to follow along easily, I'm also going to include, depending how complicated the tutorial is and how long it takes um, to do, I'm going to include traditional tutorial as well into the video. So that's how I'm going to make it special for you guys. You can both create an uh, edition and a traditional edition and, and a video and one video as well. That way it can be longer for you guys and you guys can sit down and join with me. Um, so this is going to be 31 days of Halloween. I know I'm in half of the month already and I'm sorry about that but I took a break. Um, but we're going to go ahead and do the rest of the month while it's not too late. So, with that being said, for our first tutorial we're going to be doing is how to draw a pumpkin. Now, here's one thing that I have been learning on uh, Skillshare. If you plan out your illustrations from the very beginning of the elements that you want in your illustrations, all of the tutorials that we'll be doing this month, we're going to combine them in one illustration at the end of the month. That way you guys can be practicing along with the tutorials and guys can gain something out of it. Um, I think it's really exciting for that, so I wanted to mention that real quick. So, with that being said, we're already in 10 minutes, okay. Um, I'm also going to be doing a little bit sure of holographic stickers and everything like that in a video as well, and there's going to be lots of plans. I've already played out the whole month content, and I'm really excited about that, and so it's going to be top of the game, and um, I'm trying to think what else I'm going to say. Oh yeah, um, Inktober is going on. I'm going to be mix mixing both drawing tutorials and Inktober together, so um, that way I can have a mixture of variety of both. Um, let's say I want to do a drawing tutorial one day, I can do that. And then if I get bored of that, I can always switch to an Inktober video. For you guys so we can get a variety of both and not get bored of my channel so um just want to clarify that so i want to go ahead and show you what you can do with pumpkin illustration and how you can make illustration your own and give the samples and how you can apply that to your work um before i go ahead and jump into the materials and what you need traditionally so i want to go ahead and get started with today's video if you're new here don't forget to like comment and subscribe down below Turn your notification bell on so you won't miss the video. I since this is going to be 31 days of Halloween, I'm going to try posting every single day I, if I can and get it well rolling at least and see where it takes us. Um, I'm so excited for this new journey and uh, yeah, so let's get started. Okay, hey guys, before we get onto the material section of the video and everything like that, I am going to go ahead and show you some examples of what you can apply to your drawings for pumpkins. And you can tag me on email and 8 on Instagram so I can see your work. Um, but yeah, these are some examples. I still have the write off so you can see it, so sorry about that. But um, here are some examples of how you can apply it to your own illustrations. When you see sticky notes, I like to send my brother, he uh, doesn't live at home, but um, I send my brother daily dose of cuteness and usually little doodles such as, such as these, and I call them daily dose of cuteness. Um, 
just a few tour and I did pumpkins. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna do a pumpkin tutorial. So I thought that was pretty cute. Um so there's just some examples of what you can do with pumpkins. Now I'm going to go ahead and discuss the materials you'll need. I wanna keep this um simple for you guys and then kind of like a more advanced approach for you guys as well. Um First, you'll need an iPad. Uh, I use Procreate. Um, but again, you know, I'm also going to be quite traditional, so don't worry about that as well. And I'm going to keep it basic and simple for you guys. Um, so that way you can draw along with me, or, you know, you don't have to. But um, this is a Apple Pistol, comes with uh, the iPad. Um, so I'm really excited for today's video. So now I'm going to go ahead and discuss uh, what materials you'll need for trying to set my iPad where it won't fall. Uh, materials you'll need. You'll need printed paper. You'll need... When I do drawing tutorials, I want to keep it basic for you guys, like I keep saying, but you are going to be needing a Sharpie. And yeah, so that's all you're going to be needing. And if you want, um, if you're going to be catching a pencil, if this is a pencil I use, and I like to go over a ballpoint pen or something like that. Um, so these are the materials I will be using. Uh, I will be teaching you step by step how to draw one, so bear with me in my instructions are clear enough for you guys or uh yeah so anyways we're gonna go ahead and get started with the video finally um towards the end of the video there's going to be a procreate tutorial so stick around for that um so we're gonna go ahead and get started with the digital tutorial first Okay, hey guys, welcome back. If you made this part of this video, thank you so much for watching. We're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, I'm not gonna say this video is for kids because YouTube is crazy to turn my comments off. This is a tutorial for everyone and for all ages and um, everyone. So this is just going to be a basic how to draw a pumpkin tutorial. Uh, if you have any questions on the materials I've been using, skip or we lined uh, to the beginning of the video. I just got the materials and everything. All you need is printed paper, Sharpie, and you're good to go. Um, I am using orange Sharpie, so if you have um, stacked the paper underneath uh, your drawing paper, um, so that way it won't get under your, on your desk. And yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started with today's. I'm gonna have it horizontal paper, so. I'm really excited for this lesson, and I hope you guys have a great time following along. You can tag me on Instagram, email as 8 and I'm really excited. So we're going to go ahead and get started with 31 Days of Halloween. So the first step is drawing your pumpkin. I'm going to put a point right here towards the bottom. And a tip to get the perfect curve or what a uh, perfect circle or something. You turn your paper and we're going to make a backward we're going to make a C shape um rainbow line they call it so we're going to make a rainbow line like so we're going to have it like that and we're going to put a point i'm gonna bring a point over here and by the way this pumpkin is kawaii style um so it'd be very cute and um going to do the opposite rainbow line over here bring it down if you want you can put a point here kind of like measure it together or something and then you can bring your line down like so um also we're going to connect kind of like make little curves at the bottom of the pumpkin so that could be rounded um and connect it like that. If I'm going too fast, I can always pop it or something. And I, when I usually do my pumpkins, I like to have little humps at the top, but that's just me. Um, so I'm going to do two hills at the top, so that makes any sense. 
for the them, uh, we are going to uh, draw a line. It's going to be facing this way. Draw a line um, for that. And then we're going to come over here and if you um, do a dot right here and then connect it. And then we're going to come on the opposite side, create another dot. I just really like to do dots to have uh, measuring points for myself. I'm going to bring it down and connect it right there. So if you want to add any decorations or anything you follow these or background, maybe maybe hay bale, bale or um, anything like that. You could do more than one pumpkin if you like. Um, we're just going to keep it simple for you guys. And I want to add a little bit of decoration to it, but other than that, it's going to be simple. So we're going to come over here and I'm going to bring a little wiggle wiggle off the pumpkin and like so kind of like a little bit curly cue i like to call it um something like that but um we were we're at three minutes so now we're gonna go ahead and add the face and i'm thinking we're going to add triangles for the eyes um so if you come down here add the triangle and I actually like to use little highlights to make it kawaii and to make it cute. So you want to come over here. Like so, and I'm going to pause the video or pause the video if you want to catch up. So now we're going to color in the eyes. There we go. So we're coloring in the eyes and now we can add mouth. Mouth can come with different expressions, and it's just a lot of fun doing kawaii style, but I want to keep it simple, but cute, and a fun way for you guys. Um, we're going to go ahead and draw another rainbow line. Like so. You can look so happy. And then if you want to make it fancy, you don't have to do the stuff keeping it as it is. Um, we're going to go ahead and do a little, how I put it. Um, I'm going to do a rectangle going upwards and then downwards and then do the opposite like kind of like going down and then um, kind of like a backwards L shape um, towards the left and then we're going to go up again kind of like up and down and then uh, for the teeth and then we're going to go back up actually yeah okay so we're going to go ahead and do that it's a little tricky but i think you could do it um so we're going to go ahead and fill in the mouth i hope that wasn't too tricky for you guys if you um can't follow along um if you want to i'm going to just color this black uh, for the stem. We can also color it brown or green if you want to, but just to keep it simple. Now, for the coloring, I am using an orange Sharpie, but you can use watercolor, color pencils, or anything like that. Um, so, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get Starting with the coloring, I want to fast forward this part and talk to you tips, tricks, or anything like that. If you want, you guys can leave me your ghost story or something down in the comments down below. I think that would be really fun. Uh, maybe I could do read subscriber ghost stories or something on this channel. I think that would be really fun. Uh, let me know if you guys let me read them and that would be great. So, uh, I really don't have any ghost stories of my own, but I've been fascinated by that kind of stuff. But... Um, anyways, let me know in the comments down below, and, uh, yeah, so we're gonna have speed draw, and, or speed color, I should say, and I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial, I have been making it, um, so if you have any questions or anything like that, I try to keep the materials simple and easy and affordable for you guys, and, yeah, so let's get started with the coloring.
Okay, hey guys, if you made it this far as the video, I have some examples right in the left hand corner for you guys. I'll include these at the end of the video as well, so you can take a screenshot for our examples. Um, I hope you liked the beginning of the video where you drew traditional. I decided to make it available for Procreate users um, as well, so to make the Halloween uh, special for you guys, like 31 Days of Halloween. Um, I'm bringing back tutorials, so I'm really excited about that. So we're going on the first layer, uh, which is my red pencil sketch. As you see here, I am using either HB pencil or Procreate pencil. I don't remember which pencil I'm using um, when it comes to brushes for this one, but I like to sketch in red to start off with the, um, with the line work and everything. So I'm sketching it out here, and I kept it in real time for you guys, so that way you can get the general idea, but here it's creating a new layer. I'm lowering the opacity of the bottom layer, and I'm getting the Jinkinski uh, line brush, line art brush, or I don't know however you say it, but going over with black, and it's just simple, kind of like doing digital work as well as um, traditional stuff. So. Same thing, but digital, but I like to do this and um, definitely help if you lower the opacity with your line work. There's probably um, not much else to say um, for this video except for the coloring. Um, when you do your coloring and everything, uh, you want to set your line art to multiply and then you color, create a new layer and then color underneath your multiply layer. Uh, you want to title your line art layer line art. That way you don't get confused between your coloring and your line art and everything. So I want to do that as well. Uh, just want some tips there for you guys. For the coloring, I like to use hard brush, airbrush. Um, and then sometimes I like to, if I want to add shading to it, I do clipping mask and then add a shading to that and then um, do detail. But I just wanted to keep it simple and simplified for you guys uh, for the tutorial. So I didn't add any shading to this. I just left it flat um, for stylization and everything. So don't worry about that. Um, if you have any questions or anything like that, let me know in the comments down below. And for our next video, tell me your scary story if you have one or ghost story. And then maybe I can read them in the next video or something. Or yeah. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Bye guys.